All right, I don't know if you've been following whatever's been happening with the Red Dead Redemption mod, well, port for the PC, a version of GTA 5. But basically, I've been following it for some time, and these developers have been working on the mod for two and a half years, if I'm not mistaken. They just announced that they were working on the mod, and basically, Rockstar was like, nope, it's not happening. And uh, they had to seize all operations, and it's never going to see the light of day. Now, I do not think Rockstar developers themselves were against this. Um, it was probably just some corporate lawyers douchebaggy thing. I, I don't even know at this point. Um, I don't think it's a copyright issue because there's just so many mods for GTA 5 out right now that are from other games, um, from Max Payne, from older GTA games, from Overwatch. There's like Tracer mods, or Widowmaker, there's everything. So I don't think it's a copyright issue at this point. There's a theory going around that they want to remaster the um, first Red Dead Redemption, and I played it on my friend's Xbox. It's it's really an amazing game. I really, really liked it. It's a damn shame it didn't get released on PC. I hope they released Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, but <laughs> this is Rockstar we're talking about. I mean, Take 2, whatever you want to call it. While I've been disappointed in them for a long time, I did appreciate the fact that modding was even possible when they released it on PC, as that's a, that's a pretty much what I play in GTA 5 right now, it's mods. I don't really care about the multiplayer. It's too much autism in one place, unless you got a few dedicated buddies that you're playing it with properly. Let me know what you think about this. I mean, it's bad news. I don't want this to be like a chain of events. I don't want other game studios that have games that can be modded follow the example of this. It, it would just be really bad. And I feel sorry for the guys that worked on this for so long. And this just goes to show you that you should not at all announce, if you're working on something like this, okay, do not announce it until you release it. And if you're going to release it and you know it's going to be, you know, lawyers all over your ass, do it on deep web, just somehow covertly spread links throughout the internet so there's a download link anywhere, but just don't make tracers back to you. This is bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah. There's been a couple of cases like this in other games. But otherwise, um, I am disappointed at Rockstar or Take-Two or just whoever's responsible. But, you know, I'm the messenger here, so just, you know, don't dislike the video for the news. I don't know uh, how many of you guys were even aware that this was in the making. So, yeah, I'll put some relevant links in the description down below so you can go check it out yourself, see this thing in more detail. All that aside, I got four different Ryzen 5 builds coming in one video. Hopefully, I can upload that today. If not, it's going to be tomorrow, but I hope it is today. So, either way, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.